hello in today's video i have two wigs in the same style but different color and they're brought to you by hair so fly shop i'll be sure to leave a link below to this wig and also at their direct store the wig that i have today is ultra perfect hairline synthetic lace front wig in the style laurel in the color number drff red velvet and dr2 ginger brown This is what the inside of the wig looks like. You get a 13 by 6 fully hand tied lace parting space. It also comes with a faux scalp. Behind the parting space you get two combs, another comb and a nape area with adjustable straps. It comes with a elastic band so you get an extra secure fit. The cap material is a stretch fit breathable material. And also the lace is coming on gray on my skin but you guys know I'm going to try my best to go in and tint it. And the texture of this hair is definitely on the silky side. I already went ahead and removed the faux scalp on the red velvet color. So on the ginger brown color, I'm going to show you guys how to remove it. And it is very simple. And if you need glasses, you might need to take out your glasses for this one. So starting from the corner by the ear tab, there is a really thin clear thread going across the faux scalp. You're going to try to pick up the side and you're going to cut that thin thread. And after you cut it, it should start to rise up and you just keep pulling and then cutting the thread when it starts to snag again. You pull, then cut, take your time, try not to cut into the lace. Also, while you're pulling the faux scalp up, some hair might be attached to it, but just go ahead and cut right through that hair too. If you ever made a wig with a frontal or closure, you're then left with that extra cap material underneath. So now from the back towards the cap, right by the faux scalp, I'm going to just cut off that extra material. And then voila, the faux scalp is off and this is optional. You can definitely leave the faux scalp on there if you want. With the red velvet color, I'm going to do a middle part and I feel like the parting space could be a little bit more flatter. So I'm going in with my Andis hot comb and the temperature that I have it on is number five. And I'm just pressing down the roots of the parting space and the hairline. The luster on these wigs is coming off shiny, so I'm going to go in with my Canra Volume Dry Shampoo and just spray this onto the hair. I am running out, so it's not as strong as it should be, but it is still dimming down the shine, so I just spray it all over the hair. And from here, you can build it, and if you end up with the white ashy residue, you just pat the powder into the hair or comb it out. And if you are a super beginner and you don't have to cut off that extra lace, you just take your scissors and cut right along the hairline. With the ginger brown color, I'm doing a right side part. This is what it looks like after I'm all done. Then after that, I go in and add some dry shampoo. Hey there! Thank you so much for clicking my video. So let's get into this wig show and tell slash review. I did do this wig before in the past and it was with a collab with Kai. And I did it in the color number two. And I don't remember the other color, but it was more of like a, a honey blonde color. I'll definitely leave the video link below in the description box and that video is a little bit more detailed plus it's um a slash collab with a makeup look and dress look so feel free to check that out it's really cute I think we was doing a date night collab and it came out great 
I also asked you guys to give me like 500 likes if you guys want to see more videos like that. You guys gave me over 500. So I definitely will have more Get Ready With Me videos to come. Stay tuned for that. So like I said, I did do this wig before. The first color that I'm going to do is the DRFF Red Velvet. And this color is so gorgeous, darling. Gorgeous, 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 darling. You have your dark roots and it just nicely fade into the color red and then well no the burgundy it's like a burgundy red but then you also got these bright highlights of red and it just looks so good this texture is on the silky side I'm not going to lie I just wish it was a little bit more coarse or a little bit more yakky because I feel like it would really make the wig pop but I still love this wig I love 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 this wig i already have in the color number two so i was like let me get some more colors out for you guys i didn't blend my lace yet underneath and to do that last time i blended the lace i had to use two uh, makeup products the first product i'm going to use is this maybelline fit me powder in the shade 355 Ugh. this is what it looks like if you can see it Calm brown tan color so first I put this product underneath the lace of the wig and then I'm going to do a quick voiceover because what I said could have been better explained so first I go in with the makeup powder which is the Maybelline fit me powder and I use that to tint the lace the lace is so light that it needs like something more to help tone it out so that's when i go in with this nars foundation and the nars foundation just help like balance everything out if i go directly in with the nars foundation straight onto the lace then the foundation comes off too dark and if i go in with just the powder then the powder just looks too light so they both just help measure it out First, I'm going to take the powder and apply it underneath the lace. I'm only applying it to the spots that I'll be showing, so that's the middle part and the hairline. I really wanted to use a black stocking cap for this install, but this is the darkest wig cap I can find, which is a dark brown. I feel like this is going to show through the wig right there, so I hooked my adjustable straps. So I definitely recommend a black stocking cap for this because you can see my line of the wig cap through the pre plots hairline. And for all that, I kind of could have kept the faux scalp on there. It's not as bad as the faux scalp. I'd rather this, but I have to find that black wig cap. I just have powder on the lace underneath. It's not too bad, but it's still a little too light. So this is where the foundation come in that I use to contour. And the reason why I use the one, the foundation that I use to contour is because my actual foundation is, no, how I explain this, Hold on, I gotta think this through. My actual foundation that I use, which is the Lancome, when I apply this onto the lace, the lace is so light that it makes my actual foundation come lighter, come off lighter on my skin. So I tried the one that I used to contour and it just, it just melts everything in so well. So good that I don't even have to spray down the hairline. So I'm going to show you guys what I mean. I take a piece of tissue or paper towel. And I squeeze a little dot, just a little dot. Then the brush that I kind of use to contour, this is this. I just smudge some off. You don't want too much. You just want a little bit. Because the more you add, the more cakier the lace will look on your skin. And that's the last thing you want. Now, I'm going to take, I'm going to do this side. I'm going to take the little light foundation and just... Apply it to the hairline. Because this is a middle part and I'm not really worried about like doing the whole hairline and the hair is gonna be covering up this side, I'm gonna be more focused on like right here to right here. But you can definitely do the whole hairline if you want.
So I don't know if you guys can see the difference that that foundation made. It's just a little darker, a little bit more blendable with my skin compared to just the powder. Sometimes only powder work for me, but in this case with the Outre uh, Melted Hairline Series, I noticed that I need both. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the other side. All right, so because this is a middle part, <laughs> sorry that I'm being a little lazy, I have like so many wigs to record after this. You can definitely go in and spray down the air tabs to keep it down, just in case the wind blow. I'm not gonna do that because this is a middle part and this is a wig show and tell, but I definitely will spray the air tabs on the next wig so you guys can see what I mean. So right now I'm just gonna focus on the baby hairs and styling this wig, so stay tuned for the end results. You guys know I usually like a brown nude stocking cap, but usually brown nude stocking cap isn't always for all wigs. In this case, I really wish I had my black stocking cap, but the sad part is I didn't find the black stocking cap until this video was over. So in the next video, you will definitely see my black stocking cap. But anyway, I'm just swooping the baby hairs and I'm just going to style a baby hair on my forehead and on my temples. You can definitely go in and style the whole hairline if you want because I'm doing a wig show and tell I'm only going to focus on the middle of the wig and I want to hide the grid a little bit more on the lace so that same powder that I had earlier I take some of that and then I just dab it on top of the lace and this just helps the lace appear a little bit more like scalp. You see that? It's like more scalpiana, if you get what I'm saying. Also, to help hide my stocking cap underneath, I'm just going to apply some powder to the middle. Even though I applied powder underneath the lace, it could use a little bit more at the top. All right, I'm gonna use this wide tooth comb. This is a Paul Mitchell wide tooth comb. Because this hair is so long, I have to start from the ends and work my way up to the roots. I wanted to mention something, it's not coming to me. Oh yeah, I forgot. When you take off that faux scalp on the wig, while you take it off, not only you're taking off that little light thread, but it's pulling some hair out from the um, hairline. So it is gonna cause some shedding. I just wanna get through this video. I don't wanna bore y'all. I wanna make it as detailed and simple as possible. So hold the hair, because the last thing you wanna do is while you're combing, you yank the wig off. Plus, I don't have it tagged down. So yeah, you hold it. Start from the ends. See how that end came out nice and smooth. And just keep working your way up. Right here is my end results with the red velvet color and it looks so beautiful. This color combination just goes so well together. It looks so great. I have to figure out how to do this on some virgin hair so it can last longer. I hate 
when I get great synthetic wigs and it don't last that long, but oh, it's giving me life. So I'm just going to say my quick thoughts on this color. The length of this wig on me, I would say is about 22 to 24 inches. My height is 5'6". The density of the hair is about 150%. I do wish it was a little thicker because this color is more thinner than the other colors that I did, the other three colors but it can still rock the lace is blending in really nicely with my skin you get a lot of parting space and it's very deep so remember you can do a middle right or left side part i was feeling myself okay i had to do a little dance because i am loving it it looked like a professional did this i did get shedding and tangling the hair again is on the silky side and because i removed the faux scalp it did cause shedding from what i had to cut out but in the end with the wide tooth comb it all came out it took some work when you start from the ends of the hair and work your way up to the roots it helped detangle the hair way more easier and cause way less tangling this is big head friendly i do have a lot of stretch cap room left in there when I split the hair in the back, there isn't any track showing and you can't see my wig cap. Yay! If you have a small head, you can knot the end of that elastic band so you can make it a little bit more snug. Or you could um, crisscross the adjustable straps, either one. Like I feel like a small head could get away with this as well. And you might have to snip off some of the air tabs just so it can line up with your hairline properly. I don't recommend this wig for every day. This is one of those wigs that you just whip out once in the blue moon for a special event. And I don't recommend sleeping in, in it either if you're trying to get it to last really long. Before I do the other color, I want to show you guys the amount of shedding I got. Whoops. When I was combing out the hair. To me, that's low to medium. And I know a lot of the shedding is caused by me taking out the faux scalp, but for me, it had to go. It had to go. So, yeah, I was going to cut the wig, but I thought to myself, nah, after it gets old, I'll just go in and cut it. But it would look good short. It definitely would look really pretty short, but it also looks really pretty long. So either one I'm okay with. So let me stop the babbling and get the next color out for you guys. I already went ahead and applied my makeup powder underneath the lace. The same steps that I took to blend in the red velvet color is the same steps that I'm going to take to blend in the ginger brown color. First, I put on the elastic band around my head. Then I pulled down the back and then I pulled the frontal forward. The air tab is a little bit longer than my ear. Off camera, I went in and cut off a piece of it. To keep the right ear tab down, I'm going in with some olive oil super hard hold spray and just spraying it on top of the lace. Then I'm going to go in and blow dry until it's completely dry. And don't be scared of the mannequin that's behind me. It is not a person. It is just a L7 mannequin head on the tripod. When I was playing with the baby hairs, I realized I didn't want any baby hairs on my forehead. So I'm just taking some mousse and just smoothing in those baby hairs into the rest of the hair on the hairline. I should have probably just cut it out because now it makes my hairline look a little too perfect. But eh, it ain't too bad. Now I'm going in with the gel and styling those little baby hairs.
right here is my end results on the ginger brown color and hmm, not bad not bad at all it's really pretty the hair density on this one is almost about the same but it's just a little bit more thicker than the red velvet color i would say it's still 150 percent around there the lace is blending in really nicely with my skin i did get shedding i did get tangling shedding wasn't as bad as the red velvet color but it came right out with the wide tooth comb as for tangling same thing wasn't as bad as the red velvet color but it came right out in the end definitely big head friendly the shine it could use just a little bit more dry shampoo but i ran out so if i ever do decide to wear this wig i'll just apply a little bit more dry shampoo on it when i split the hair in the back there isn't any track showing the right side part looks just as good as the middle part and the curls in the back just look so lovely ah love it i really do i totally recommend that's all i really have to say if you guys have any questions though feel free to comment below and i get back to them as soon as possible like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in my next video ooh, ooh, ooh. all right we stop <laughs> later you guys